hello welcome back uh, in our last video we are discussing that how we are going to ensure that uh, we cannot insert this row why we can't insert this row because the company has a business rule that they do not allow any commission for the employee whose job description is analyst all right so that means here I am inserting a, a employee whose name is bolt and he's an analyst but looks like he's getting a commission of hundred so to solve this kind of issues uh, we need triggers and uh, in this video we are going to write our very first trigger to solve this uh, this issue okay so basically what i'm going to do i'm going to show you uh, how you write the trigger then i'm going to explain different things in that okay so this is the trigger that i write and then uh, in another way that you creating a table you also do create a replace and then the trigger and this is the keyword and then trigger name is my my trigger name is called m underscore test okay and then there are a couple of things here okay so what is the event okay and then what is the condition then what is the action so in this case the event is insert insert on what insert on emp okay so the event is in before insert on emp then the condition is that whenever the job okay is analyst okay so that is a condition and then whatever you are seeing here this is called the action okay so in the case of that event when this condition is satisfied then this is the action that I'm going to take okay so that means whenever I'm going to insert a row to the EMP table okay so in this very case we are inserting a row to EMP table and then what you're saying is that if if the the job description is analyst okay then do whatever is given to here in this begin and end okay and in this in this case we have a employee 7935 description is analyst and what we're saying is that if if this happens then you would do the action what is the action the action is if new dot commission that means whatever commission thing that we are entering here is not null then what you do you put the value of commission to null that means if I give here 100 so that means new dot commission is not null that means this if loop is satisfied then what I'm going to do I'm going to give the commission value to null so that means even if somebody is inserting with this value of 100 because of the trigger what, I've going, what we are basically inserting is null instead of 100 because of this statement okay so this is how we are going to write our first trigger and this is always going to happen and when is going to happen it's going to happen before the inserting the employee table okay so before is we are inserting the employee table whatever value the commission that we given if that is not null then we are putting we are overriding that one to a null value this is what is called a trigger okay so based on this the important clause here is called for each row so for each row means like if I have if I'm going to insert 50 rows okay then this condition this thing will be checked for each of them okay so essentially there are two kinds of trigger either it can for row level or it can as a statement level okay so that means either it can be okay so there are two types of trigger either it can happen on the row level or it can happen on a statement level and on the row level whenever you are doing for each row that is affected this trigger is going to fire that means if I'm going to insert 1000 rows to the employee table then for each row this uh, you know this this things is going to going to run okay and when is going to run if only if if you know this this action is going to happen only if we are we are giving job as the analyst okay otherwise it's not going to fire then what we have we have something called before insert okay that means one thing is that it can either happen okay so this trigger can fire before or after and also this can fire based on different things like you know if you're doing an insert if you're doing an update or you're going to delete okay and also something else like you know in case of a database schema change we can do on shutdown on startup and those kind of things 
okay so essentially what i showed you here is that this each row it can be in a row level or it can be statement level this can be before or this can be after this can be insert update or delete okay so this is how you are going to use a trigger to solve that problem